warning. The following film was created by a bunch of idiots who have absolutely no idea what the legitimate fuck they were doing. And we request that you do this in the safety of your own home with help. So guys, I wanted to make sure you guys could see this. So basically, how are you going to take a fender off? Pretty simple process, but you need to do it properly or else you're not going to be able to get it done. Right here, there is a fender clip. It's just a small bolt, 13 millimeter in this case. Um, and then down on the bottom, there's another one. It's right here. Connects to the door. Sorry, I have a cold. I was out here till like 2 o'clock last night. So um, that right there is where the second one is. Third one is actually, <clears throat> third and fourth, is right here. These two, these ones were the worst. I had to use a knuckle and I sat up here next to a fuse box to do that. But they're right there, pretty simple. Then the third, uh, sorry, no, the fifth one is down there, right there, because it connects it right to the frame. So um, I'm gonna take it off right now. I'm gonna see if that's it. And then I'll be back with uh, more, but I had to, uh, I'll, I'll, I might put this down. I'll... Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Spencer here from Soda Spills Inc. So the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, I'm actually having an issue. And I don't think you guys can hear it because I'm talking, but uh, in my truck, you can slightly hear it. It's on this side. And uh, it sounds a lot like a transmission now is busted and uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit further as to why I think that in the making of this video but this is gonna be a video um, okay, so I'm gonna turn on my light for a second because this is how I diagnose it I literally just got done making that part so this is how I could diagnose that it's the transmission I don't know how well you guys are gonna hear it but I'll be quiet for a second I gotta slow down a little bit so you guys can hear it see you can hear it but yeah it's like a wobble, and then it sounds like clunk clunk, and then you can see my transmission actually moving. Yeah, so it is my transmission mount. So, I'm going to go take a look at the transmission, and just a minute after I get that Dodge down there, my transmission will still be fine. I mean, as long as I don't beat the shit out of it like I've been doing, um, it'll be fine. Okay, guys, uh, this is the truck. It's actually a very easy fix. I think it's just an inner fender. Not an inner fender, but a fender. You can see where the connection was made there, and then the bumper, it's loose. So, it'll move up and down. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a video on how to take it apart. Obviously, I already did that because I completely forgot about the video. But, uh, there's just two bolts to remove the hood right here. Do not take off these because you really don't need to take this off, nor do you want to. It's kind of useless if you do. Um, but I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'm going to go eat something real quick because I just got back from work. And, um, we'll take this all apart probably tonight. I'll get this thing done. This thing will be easy. This is that piece for the fender to connect the fender to the inner frame. You're going to take this off. It's all a bunch of just easy stuff, but um, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so much better now that I have the tripod. So all you're going to do is you're going to find where it is it needs to be taken. I need to watch this hood because I don't want to fall. So you do both of these. The reason why I started from the bottom is because... Now all I need to do is pull down the bottom. I think you can see. Yeah. Should hold it up is what I was gonna say. But um, it's pretty simple, right? Make sure not to scratch the windshield, but. going to investigate what needs to be done to take this fender off because you can clearly see that you're the wrong size. Yeah. It's all gonna be the right size, but guess not. Okay, so the right size is going to be a 10 or 12 mil. Doesn't look like there is any inside bolts. 
think it's just being a bitch. There. I think those are just all plastic right there. Yeah. Those are pretty much all plastic. And, um, they should come right on out. There we go. And that needs to come out, too. That's a Allen wrench. So, yeah, this thing is probably holding it in place, which... I think I have an Allen wrench for that. Just a second here, guys. I'm guessing it's a 764th, but it might be too big. Nope, 760. It might be actually a larger set. Yeah, it's... Shit. It's hard with the camera right here. Ow, my asshole. It just went up my ass. Okay. Is that the bigger one? Or the small one? Though? Right there. Idiot. Yeah, this will be easy. I think this is the only thing holding that fender in place right now. I am going to try and take this fender off and cut it. Because I should be able to just keep this fender something else. As you can tell, it's pretty easy. Easy stuff. Now this part will come right off. Hang on one second. Let me take the top one off too. There we go. That shock video, that was done on this truck. And look what happens. You guys are... I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably leave it at the end of screen notations. <laughs> Before, it was actually this exact same shock, and uh, I can actually take that out with my finger. Yeah, god damn it. It's gonna be kind of harder than I expected it, but yeah, no. <laughs> god damn it. Sorry, it's like focus on the truck and not. I'll probably leave music in the background. Just very faintly, you can probably hear it once I mention it. But, uh... Alright. <clears throat> Pretty simple. I'll be right back, I'm gonna do the other one. I don't think so, I think it's just being a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and take this off and I'll show you guys exactly. So this is why you always pay attention. <laughs> I pulled it off because it's all like glued on by this shit, but... Yeah, that's uh, that's essentially what was holding it up. Yeah, one little fucking bolt and that glue. That glue was holding it up. So, um, the next is just getting all these little nipples out there you can see them there you can get nipple extractors but i don't want to get one nor do i want to buy one so i kind of just pull on them hard enough so they come out i mean if you have just a shit fender like this you could probably just pull it off but for right now i'm going to take mine off real quick hold on okay so i did rip them out they were just little nipples and uh so now i found out why the fender wasn't coming off and this will be an easy one. I'm just making sure that there's no more. It looks like there isn't. The door just needs to come off. And that piece right there. Those pieces. I think there's one more on the front. I don't think I'll have to take off the tire. I think this thing should just come out. So I'm going to take these off real quick. And uh, now you know where they are though. All these little inside pieces. You're just going to kind of connect where it is. You can see where this comes off. And you know door main taught yeah so pretty easy i'm gonna do it real quick i'll be back so just to give you guys an idea of what i'm doing I'm taking off this bracket because i really don't know if it's necessary but all the little shit i'm just taking off because little shit is unnecessary so uh I don't know. So guys, I wanted to make sure you guys could see this. So basically, how you're going to take a fender off 
pretty simple process, but you need to do it properly or else you're not going to be able to get it done. Right here, there is a fender clip. It's just a small bolt, 13 millimeter in this case. Um, and then down on the bottom, there's another one. It's right here. Connects to the door. Sorry, I have a cold. I was out here till like 2 o'clock last night. So um, that right there is where the second one is. Third one is actually, <clears throat> third and fourth, is right here. These two, these ones were the worst. I had to use a knuckle and I sat up here next to a fuse box to do that. But they're right there, pretty simple. Then the third, uh, sorry, no, the fifth one is down there, right there, because it connects it right to the frame. So um, I'm gonna take it off right now. I'm gonna see if that's it. And then I'll be back with uh, more, but I had to, uh, I'll, I'll, I might put this down. I'll see you in a second. Hold on. Okay, can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can, but we're going to be about right there. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much the piece. I had to take off a bumper. Not a bumper, a fender. <laughs> Next piece here is going to be the, uh, actual bumper portion is this light is stuck in place so should we take out the light um probably but i don't know how i'm gonna get it out so i think i might have to take off the bumper well let's try it really quick hold on okay so bumpers there should come right off without those in place and I could probably take out the light from there because I think it's just hanging on by those two bolts. I'm gonna try and do it and I'll be back. Fuck. 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 Did I get it? Fuck! Eek! Eek! Oh. oh, got it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, fender back while I was doing it. Pretty simple, but um, in any case, this won't come out for some ungodly no reason. Okay guys, uh, this is the truck. It's actually a very easy fix. I think it's just an inner fender, not an inner fender, but a fender. You can see where the 